turned down the heat. Oh, everything hurts. How do you feel, Nicole? Terrible. Yeah, you don't look too good. I don't feel good. <laughs> Cool. It's very nice to see you. To, to, it's one of those days. Okay. Uh, how, so, what seems to be the problem? I'm just really hot. I'm really cold all the time. Hot and cold. My bones hurt. I'm really angry. It does. It. Uh, it, it, it does seem a little confrontational to you today. That, 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 that's fine. Um, are you, so your bones hurt? Are you experiencing some muscle aches? That, that's true. And um, oh, and hot flashes as well. All right, I, I think I, 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 I probably know what's going on. I think I, think I understand the, the situation here, and it happens to all women of a certain age. Um, what do you mean of a certain age? I, I mean, I didn't mean it in that way, but it's, it happens to women of a certain, of women who are in the, in approaching the prime of their life. And uh, when, when that occurs, uh, your body goes through some hormonal changes. And sometimes uh, people need therapy in order to re uh, mediate some of those changes. Uh, have you considered hormone replacement therapy at all? No. It's, it, it, and I would agree, it is a pretty extreme route to go on. And uh, it, does, it does so happen that, um, and forgive me if I get too scientific, don't, don't, uh, don't worry about slowing me down. Uh, if the est estrogens uh, that are present in hormone replacement therapy, they can be so powerful that they can uh, cause breast cells to divide at a faster rate, and that can put you at a higher risk for cancer. So we, we really would like to avoid that if we can. So for you, I would say, have you ever considered trying some herbal supplements? It's a very, very good, good, uh, good option for uh, women like you with your problem, and uh, I would suggest, personally, black cohosh. Uh, we don't have it in the pharmacy here, at least not in the uh, dosage that you would uh, probably take it with, and, but it's a very popular supplement, uh, popular in Germany, popular um, all over the United States, constantly getting more and more popular as uh, more people find out about it, more people prescribe it to, to people suffering from uh, menopausal symptoms. Uh, the active constituents in black cohosh uh, help to mediate your body's hormones. So uh, when women are having a tough time with PMS, or having any sort of other hormone problems, uh, the, uh, the triterpenes, which are the chemicals present in black cohosh, the triterpenes, um, they act as phytoestrogens. And these triterpenes have a weak estrogen-like effect that, uh, well, they bind to the estrogen receptors within uh, your cells. And uh, that can tone down the effects of PMS, but it can also help regulate the effects of menopause because when your estrogen levels drop so significantly during that time um, and they decrease dramatically, the black cohosh's triterpenes will eliminate symptoms like hot flashes and night sweats. Um, so you'll stop feeling all hot and cold. Thank God. Exactly. Without the overstimulation of any of your breast tissue. So you don't have to put yourself at a higher risk for any sort of cancer or any sort of complication. Now, uh, black cohosh I said would decrease this risk, and I would recommend that you take it along with other things because black cohosh alone probably won't it won't alleviate all of your symptoms. Now, I would suggest personally um, that you use it in a combined supplement, possibly with some sort of soy, uh, because soy is excellent for women's health. And if you want more information, uh, I, I know of a fantastic herbalist. Uh, his name is Dr. Hebe, and. He, it would be more than uh, happy to, uh, you, you could absolutely consult with him to, for any of, your, any of your issues. I would suggest personally, and you could uh, ask him about this, to take 40 to 80 milligrams uh, in a capsule twice daily of black cohosh, in addition to whatever sort of uh, other supplements he has for you. So I hope you feel better, Nicole.
in detail about the herbal supplements and possibly um, a diet change with functional foods, if that's fine with you. Okay. Okay, great. Well, we're going to start off with um, some flaxseed, and flaxseed oil is very good. It comes in two different ways that um, many people can consume it in, which is flaxseed oil and flaxseed itself. Now, flaxseed oil is very easy and better to consume. And I'm pretty sure you heard Oprah, she raved about it earlier with flaxseed. It's very good for females. So this is um, flaxseed oil. And as you can see, it has um, omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids. That's good for um, women. Um, going through, um, it's very good um, regimen for females going through hormonal changes. It reduces um, cancer risk. Now, not to make you nervous about that, um, it's just to set a positive barrier to, against that. So don't get nervous when you hear that word. But um, it also guards against um, the effects of um, aging. So we want to retain that beauty that you have. So that's a really good um, step to have in your diet. Now, you can consume flaxseed oil um, by spoonfuls. So I recommend a tablespoon of flaxseed oil, either one to two tablespoons um, daily. Um, with your regular foods, um, mainly for breakfast. So, um, but if not that, um, you can combine it with smoothies. And I'm gonna get a little bit deeper into how you combine all these things um, later on. But uh, I'm gonna go right into soy. Now, soy comes in a variety of ways to consume it. Dried, um, you can get from health food stores. Um, fresh as well. And you can get it as soy milk. And soy milk comes, you know, you can consume soy milk by the glass. You can also um, put it in your cereal if you like cereal or smoothies. And that's where um, flaxseed oil, you can combine all that into a smoothie with your regular fruits or um, vegetables. And that's where the functional foods come in. That's good for um, that diet change and it makes the diet change enjoyable and fun where it doesn't seem like a drastic task, okay? So, um, and black cohosh. Now, I know Dr. Dominic also explained in detail about black cohosh to you. Now, I do have black cohosh, and since it's in high demand, I only have it in tinctures. And I know he preferred um, tablets, but tinctures work just as good and just, um, and it comes in, um, it's in a liquid form, so you don't want to overdo it. And it does come, um, these tinctures do come with a measuring um, device, you know, measuring numbers to let you know how much to use. Now, I do um, suggest four, three to four drops, and you can have that in an eight ounce glass of liquid, which is orange juice, water, or tea. And since we're in the subject of tea, let me um, recommend um, you like apparently red clover tea. Now I have red clover tea in tea bags, and you can um, put that black cohosh into the red clover, and it's not going to disturb the balance, that imbalance that you're going through already. But it is um, used to decrease menopausal sym um, symptoms, as well as it acts as a replacement with the estrogen that you're um, losing with this change of menopause that you're going through. I recommend a protein supplement that has everything in one, especially if this is a little too much for you in your regimen. It has the flaxseed oil and the black cohosh and the red clover, and it's good for easy consumption. Why do I need that? Well, Nicole, I heard you've been um, not yourself lately, especially with the hormonal changes you've been going through, especially with a woman at your particular age. Here you go with that word again. How do you feel? I feel amazing. Thank you so much. You're more than welcome. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Nicole, what? Look at you. You look so different, so healthy. My goodness. Thank you. I'm feeling so much better thanks to this black seed oil, black cocoa, and soy protein. Wow. So it worked out for you. I feel 30 years younger. <laughs> 